everyone. Welcome to Hopeful Turns. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you the pattern for a crochet baby hat with ear flaps. Now this baby hat or beanie will fit a zero to three month old baby. And the pattern used is really simple, easy and beginner friendly. Now you can use this basic beanie pattern and then customize it according to your needs. So what you can do is you can use the basic beanie structure and make it till here and use like a very simple beanie if you want to or you can add the ear flaps so as to keep the ears closed you can attach some braids you can keep it shorter or keep it longer something like this you can even add pom-poms or use without any pom-pom so with the basic uh beanie structure you can just adapt it and customize it according to your liking Okay, so let's see the supplies first and then we'll head over to the pattern. Okay, now for the supplies here, I have used a 100% acrylic yarn. This is a medium four weight yarn. So if you are planning to make uh, the border, you might need another color also. So I have used pink and white is the border color. One I have made with blue. So both, all of these are medium four weight yarn. And the recommended hook size is 4.5 to 5.5 mm. Now, if you want to make it for a newborn, you'll have to use a 4.5 mm crochet hook and follow the same pattern. But I am making it for a 0 to 3 month old baby so that it just stretches a little bit more. So here I'm using a 5 mm crochet hook. So if, you're use, if you just want to make it for a newborn, use a 4.5 or a 5.5 with the for uh, worsted weight or iron weight yeah now you can use cotton also if you want to that's totally optional uh, you'll need a pair of scissors and a yarn needle now if you want you can attach the pom-pom here i have used a pom-pom maker to make the pom-pom you can use without the pom-pom maker also so that's up to you so a pom-pom maker if you want to make a pom-pom so these are the supplies that you would require. Now, if you are planning to make it as a baby shower gift, uh, you can uh, include a mittens or booties, maybe a blanket or a lovey blanket. It will go really well with it. So you can give it as a set. So I have all of those uh, tutorials on my channel. So I'll put the links in the description box. If you're interested, do check that out. Now let's get into the tutorial. So we'll start this pattern by making a magic circle first and this is how I like to make my magic circle. You take your yarn and then loop it around your finger like an X. Once you have that, you can take this loop out. Now take your hook, pass your hook through this loop here and pull your working yarn through like this. So this here is your magic circle. Now, if you want some more help with the magic circle, you can click on the link that is coming up here. I have a very detailed tutorial on how to do the magic circle. So once you do your magic circle, after that, make two chain stitch, one, two. So here I've got my two chain stitch. And for round one, we are going to put 12 double crochet into the magic circle. So after you make your chain two, we are going to put 12 double crochet. So this here is my first double crochet. This is one. We'll put another double crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop. You have three loops. Yarn over, pull to the first two. Yarn over, pull to the next two. So this is my second double crochet. Like that, I'm going to make a total of 12 double crochet for round one. So round one, we'll have two chain stitch and 12 double crochet. So I'll complete my 12 double crochet and I'll join you at the end of round one. So here I'm at the end of round one. I have put 12 double crochet and the starting two chain stitch for round one. But we'll just give this a count. So you can see here, this is my two chain stitch, chain two. And this here is my first double crochet. So I'll just count it from this side just for the clarity. So one, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and here this one is my 12th double crochet. After that we have a chain 2. So make sure you have 12 double crochet in round 1. Okay. Once you have that we are going to slip stitch into the first double crochet. This is our chain 2. Just ignore that. Put your uh, slip stitch into the first double crochet. So for a slip stitch just insert your hook 
and pull your yarn through both these loops okay so that completes round one at this point i'm just going to pull on this end to close the magic circle completely so just tighten it and there are round one is done now the chain two that we put here is uh, just to avoid the gaps that we can have uh, when we are doing the rounds so it is like a buffer stitch okay now we'll move on to round two so round two again we are going to start with two chain stitch so every round we will be starting with two chain stitch which will act as a buffer stitch it will not be treated as a double crochet okay so once you have that now we'll start round two now the pattern for round two is an increased round that is in every stitch we are going to put two double crochet so starting from this stitch right here where we have put chain two there i'm going to put two double crochet so this is one and the same stitch i'm going to put one more double crochet so that is an increase now come to your next stitch this here here again i'm going to put two double crochet so this is one and in the same stitch another double crochet so two double crochets has gone in that one stitch now come to your next stitch again put two double crochet like this just go ahead and repeat the pattern making two double crochet in every stitch so if you just slip, split this open you can find that two double crochets are going in one stitch so i'll complete this round and i'll join you at the end of round two so here i'm almost at the end of round two i have just the very last stitch left so i just thought of finishing it off with you so in the last stitch also i'm going to make an increase that is i'm going to put two double crochet like this so this is the end of round two and once you finish round two you should be having a total of 24 double crochet and the starting to chain stitch so make sure if you are a beginner just make sure you have two double crochet in each of the stitches just count your stitches and make sure it is 24 double crochet now you might have a confusion whether to put the last double crochet here uh, but that is not needed it has already been covered so in case you have a doubt the best way is to just count from here to the very beginning if you have 24 double crochet you're well and good okay so now to finish off this round this you can see is a starting chain two this is my first double crochet right here so on top of that i'm going to slip stitch just ignore your chain two and go directly on top of your first double crochet and slip stitch so this is the end of round two we'll start round three here again we are starting with two chain stitch which is going to act as a buffer stitch now the pattern for round three is going to be you have to put one double crochet followed by an increase stitch so increases uh, you'll be putting two double crochet in this same stitch so one two one two is the pattern that we'll be following for this round so we'll start here right here where the chain two is going there we'll start with just one double crochet okay and in the next stitch we are going to put two double crochet so here will be our increase stitch so this is one and in the same stitch make another double crochet so two so we have one double crochet followed by two double crochet come to your next stitch here you are going to make just one double crochet and in the next stitch put two double crochet so this is one and in the same stitch put another double crochet okay so like this you can go ahead and repeat the pattern you will make one double crochet followed by two double crochet in the next stitch so just repeat this pattern and i'll join you at the end of round three so once you finish round three you will have a total of 36 double crochets here i'm at the end of round three and i now have a total of 36 double crochet and the very last stitch here will be an increased stitch. so you will be putting two double crochet as your very last stitch for round three now in order to finish off this round you skip your chain two this here is your two chain stitch this is our first double crochet so on top of the first double crochet just go ahead and slip stitch so that finishes round three now we'll move on to round four and round four is the very last round increase so we'll start again 
with two chain stitch now the pattern for round two round four is you will be putting two double crochet followed by an increase stitch so what we'll doing what we'll be doing is we'll put one double crochet one double crochet and then two double crochet so that is the pattern that we follow so into the very first stitch make just one double crochet in the next stitch also just put one double crochet okay in the third stitch we are going to make an increase so here we'll put two double crochet so this is one and in the same stitch i'm going to put one more so this is an increase stitch so this is the pattern that we'll be following we'll make one double crochet one double crochet followed by two double crochet so we'll do that once more so into the next stitch just put one double crochet again in the next stitch just one double crochet now into the next stitch put two double crochet one and two so one one two is the pattern for this round so you can just go ahead and repeat the pattern and once you finish this round you will have a total of 48 double crochets so here i'm at the end of round four and i have a total of 48 double crochet the last stitch will be an increase stitch that is in the very last stitch you'll end up with two double crochet we'll just finish off this round by slip stitching into the first stitch so that finishes round four and ideally when you finish round four it should have a flat circle now if you do not and if it is just folding on it's okay but ideally this should lay flat so this is the crown width now if you have to measure this this measures about 4.5 inches in diameter so for a zero to three month old baby this crown width or the diameter should fall anywhere between 4 to 4.5 inches okay so this is the end of the increasing now from round five all the way up to round 10 we'll stop increasing and what we'll do is we'll just put one double crochet in every stitch so round five we are going to repeat all the way up to round 10 so every round from here we'll start with two chain stitch like this and we are just going to put one double crochet in every stitch this is one double crochet come to your next stitch again a double crochet come to your next stitch again a double crochet so you can just go ahead and make one double crochet in every stitch around so once you finish round five you'll have a total of 48 double crochet so i'll just make this round and i'll just show you how to end this and start the next round no more increases just put one double crochet in every stitch so here i have put one double crochet in every stitch for round five and i have a total of 48 double crochet now in order to finish off this round skip the starting to chain stitch go into the first double crochet of this round and slip stitch so that is the end of round five now if you see it has started to fold up now what you have to do is you have to repeat round five up to round ten so every round we'll start with two chain stitch and then put one double crochet in every stitch so this is round six just put one double crochet in every stitch around and once you are done with that just go ahead and slip stitch into the first double crochet ignore the starting chain two and if you are a beginner i will highly recommend that you count the number of stitches don't increase there you might have a tendency to put the last double crochet here so count your stitches before moving forward okay so just repeat this and i'll join you at the end of round 10. so here i have completed till round 10 and we have got a nice beanie we'll do one last round and then finish off the beanie part and then we'll move on to the uh, ear flaps okay so this was round 10 and we'll start round 11 so for that i'm going to start with one chain stitch this time and in round 11 we are just going to put one single crochet in every stitch so i have put already chain one and then into the same stitch i'm going to make a single crochet so for a single crochet you just insert your hook pull up a loop you have two loops yarn over and pull through both so this is my next single crochet like this i'm just going to go ahead and make a single crochet around so you just have to put one single crochet in every stitch 
and once you finish this round you will again end up with 48 single crochets okay so i'll just complete this so here i'm at the end of round 11 so this was my very last single crochet and in order to finish off this round i'm just going to slip stitch into the first single crochet this here is the chain one just ignore that find the first single crochet of this round and just slip stitch it so that completes round 11 and your beanie part is done now if you want you can just cut off your yarn and use it as a plain simple beanie also you can attach a pom-pom if you want to but i'll just show you how to do the ear flap so we'll start with the first ear flap now both the ear flap is done in the same way so you can repeat the same pattern when you're doing your second one okay so for that what we'll do is we'll be working in rows so we'll start the first row so once you do the slip stitch you start with chain one now this chain one is just for the turning chain purpose there is nothing much to it it's not uh, treated as any stitch so we have done chain one and in the next 10 stitches we'll put a single crochet so we have to put 10 single crochets so we'll do that one two three four five six seven eight nine sorry nine nine and ten okay so here i have put ten single crochet this is row one now for row two just chain one and turn your work now we are going to do a decrease stitch so we'll be using two stitches to make one decrease so this is how you'll do you'll just insert your hook into the first stitch and pull up a loop do not finish the single crochet instead go to the next stitch insert your hook there and pull up a loop now you have three loops you just yarn over and pull through all the three loops so this is a first decrease after that make Six single crochet normal six single crochets one two three four five and one more six so we have put six single crochet now using the last two stitches I'm again do, going to do a decrease so insert your hook into the first stitch pull up a loop insert your hook into the last stitch pull up a loop you have three loops yarn over and pull through all the three so this is our next decrease so row two is over we'll start row three so chain one and then turn your work row three you're just going to put one single crochet in each of these stitches so you'll have a total of eight single crochet so this is my second single crochet two three you're just going to put normal single crochets for row three five six seven and one last eight so here we have put eight single crochet so that is the end of row three we'll do row four so row four we chain one and turn your work we'll put a decrease in the first two stitches and a decrease in the last two stitches so we'll start with a decrease so insert your hook pull up a loop insert your hook into the next stitch pull up a loop you have three loops yarn over pull through all the three loops now make four single crochet so this is one two three and four so here i have put four single crochet we have last two stitches left so here again i'm going to do a decrease stitch so this is your single crochet decrease next row we'll start with chain one turn our work and we'll put six single crochet six normal single crochet one two three four five and one more six so here i have got six single crochet so that is the end of row five we'll move on to row six so for row six we'll again start with chain one and then turn our work we will make a decrease first so using the first two stitches make your first decrease then put 
two single crochet one and two okay and then using the last two stitches again make a decrease so we have put a decrease two single crochet and a decrease for row six then chain one and turn your work row seven you're just going to put one single crochet in every stitch so you'll be making a total of four single crochets one two three and one more four so that was row seven we will we will move on to row eight so chain one turn your work row eight we are going to do just two decreases so into the first two stitches make your first decrease using the last two stitches make your second decrease so that is row eight row nine chain one turn your work you have only two stitches so just put a decrease this time like this you can make one chain and cut your work here so that is how you do your your flap so there you got a nice triangle and this is what we are going to repeat on the other side so for that we have to first of all count so we'll do that first now to make the second flap we have to first uh, determine which will be the front of the beanie and which will be the back now if you see here you can find a seam going here at this end so this is where we had put the chain to so there is a small it's not very visible but there is a seam going on so what i'll do is i will keep this side here the flap is made this side will be the back side we don't want the seam to be on the forehead area and I'll just turn my work like this and this will be the front of the beanie okay so at this end we are going to count 15 stitches and then join the yarn to the 16 stitch to make the second flap so uh, put your beanie on the front side okay I'll just flip this over like this and if you see here this is the place where our triangle is going so this has already been uh, taken care of by the ear flap start from the next stitch onwards so i'm going to count 15 stitches 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 and into the 16th stitch i'm going to attach my yarn so this is where my second ear flap will go so you can attach the yarn the way you like i'll just knot this down so skip 15 stitches into the 16th stitch I have attached my yarn and here I'm going to repeat the same pattern that I had done for the ear flap. So I'll just show you how to do it. So just insert your hook here and pull up a loop and then chain one. Now you're going to do exactly like the your first ear flap. You will start with 10 single crochet that is for row one. After that you can chain one turn your work then make a decrease six single uh, single crochet and a decrease so i'll put the timestamp of the first ear flap so you can just go ahead and repeat the same pattern so just make 10 single crochet chain one and then start decreasing and make your second flap so i'll just complete the second flap also and i'll join you so here i have completed the second flap also and this is almost done now what i'll do is i'll make a small border with a white color yarn and this step is totally optional if you want you can skip that also but i just like to highlight it so i'll take my white color yarn here and what we'll do is we'll make a row of single crochet so on this part here we are going to put one single crochet in each of these stitches okay now when you come to the triangle we have made it in row nine rows so what we'll do is we'll try to put Eight single crochet across this as evenly as possible when you reach the corner put three single crochet just to get it nice and rounded and again eight single crochet on this part of the triangle and then continue with the single crochet so that's how we'll be doing it so what I'll do is I'll start from the back side you can see the seam here I'll attach my yarn you can start anywhere that you want to I'll just start somewhere on this side okay so I'll just start here I'll attach my yarn I'm just going to put a row of single crochets all right I'll work on top of this so take your yarn 
pull it through make chain one this is just to get the height and we'll start making single crochet so at this point itself i'm going to make a single crochet here come to your next stitch again put a single crochet next stitch again a single crochet okay one more stitch is there a single crochet now we'll work on the side of the triangle i'm going to evenly place it it's quite zigzag so i try to place eight single crochet one two three four five six seven and i'll put one more eight all right and at the very corner at the very top i'm going to put three single crochet okay so one two and three i go down the triangle and again put eight single crochet on this side of the triangle all right so i'll just continue making a single crochet here all the way down then on this part again a single crochet all across this then eight single crochets here three single crochet at the very corner again eight single crochet and come back and join so i complete that white color border here so here i have worked a row of single crochet with the white yarn also and when you reach the very first stitch you just have to slip stitch it and you can cut your yarn off okay so with that the white border is also done okay so that is your beanie with the flaps now if you want you can add the braids so for that what i've done is i have taken uh, three strands of pink color yarn and six strands of white color yarn and each strand is about 20 inch long now you can make the braids longer or shorter but one strand is about 20 inches next what we'll do is we'll take all the strands together and fold it into half okay like this now take one of your ear flaps take your hook through this side through the inside uh, into the very last stitch where we had put three single crochet there you insert your hook and try to pull all of these uh, strands of yarn in one go if you have a bigger hook that would be better if you're not able to pull it out in one go you can do one at a time also i just try if i can take it out yeah for me it came in one single sweep if you are not able to do this just do it one by one okay so here you have got a big loop I'll just insert my fingers through this and I'm going to pull all of these yarns through the loop like this and pull it tight. So if you see we have got a nice knot here. Uh, the inside since we had pushed it through the inside this knot falls here and this looks pretty on the outside. Okay. Now this is how I like to braid this. I have now since we have folded I have six strands of pink okay so I'll just divide into three sets six strands of pink uh, six white and six white like that three sets so here I have one two three four I'll take two five six and here also I have one two three four five I think I made a mistake like this okay so now i have six of each color white pink white and like a normal braid you can just braid it so just braid it till you reach the end and once you reach the end you can knot this down so i'll just make the normal braid i'll try to go all the way to the very end okay so here I have braided this all the way to the very end and once you reach the end I'm just going to make a knot here so so that everything stays in place okay and I'll try to bring the knot towards the end like this okay and I'll just trim this off but I'll just trim it when I do my second braid also so that I can adjust the height 
so you make the second braid and adjust the height and make sure that everything is of the same length so i'll just trim this out once i'm done with the second braid so i'll just finish that also so here i have completed the second braid also and our beanie is done now if you want you can attach a pom-pom to this so here i have made one where i have attached a pom-pom it's the same uh, it's just that i have made the braids a little bit longer if you can see this so if you see uh, for the pink i had cut a 20 inch long strand and for this one i had cut a 30 inch long strand so you definitely can um, make the braids longer if you want a thicker braid just add more strands of yarn so definitely play around uh, with the thickness or the width uh, and the length of the braids uh, and if you want you can make this kind of a pom-pom uh, i had used a pom-pom maker to make this pom-pom uh, but there are a lot of tutorials that teach you how to make this pom-pom with and without the pom-pom maker so just if you're planning to make one you can check one of those tutorials. i'm not showing how to make a pom-pom here so yeah that was a tutorial on how to do do this crochet baby hat or a beanie with uh your flaps i hope you liked it i hope you enjoyed making it now if you have liked it please do not forget to press on the like button and if you're new to my channel please do consider subscribing uh now if you're looking to make a set with the mittens and booties i have a tutorial for them as well so, uh, so I'll put the links in the description box as well as on the end screen that is coming up. You can even make a blanket, a baby blanket to go with this or a lovey blanket. It will be a beautiful crochet uh, baby shark gift. So yeah, that's it for today's tutorial. See you in another video. Until then, bye-bye. Thank you. For